hey, I am late today. Normally I have my what I ate videos up in the morning, but I got busy today. Went to the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Listen, there were some things I needed, so I headed on up to the the big one closest to me. Now tomorrow, me and RJ are going to the biggest one in my area. It takes us probably 45 minutes or so to get there, I guess. Susie, the one in Gastonia over on Franklin Boulevard. Um, I know you know which one I'm talking about. It's bigger than any of ours around here. And so all the... <laughs> I said my thrift store stuff was crap. I don't know what you want to call this crap or what, but I've got way under too much stuff. I'm debating on whether to do a, a haul or not because it's embarrassing that somebody can shop that much. But I got some cool stuff and you might not know they have it. You might not know to look for it. So <laughs> you may or may not see a, a DT haul. And if I go tomorrow and spend as much with RJ tomorrow as I do today, <laughs> it's going to be on. <laughs> anyway, we are here for what I eight the past couple days so that would be Saturday and Sunday <sighs> Saturday I can give you Sunday we're going to have to talk about Saturday I ended up with 2480 calories but only 22 net carbs early a.m. you know pork rinds and a uh Maybe they'll go to, and when I say snacks like that, I don't necessarily have them at the same time. I don't write down the time. I cannot micromanage my tracking system or I won't do it. You can forget it. You know, if I got to write down the exact time I ate something, the exact amount I ate it, you can forget it. I'm not going to do it. I'm just not going to do it. So when I say snacks or this, this, and this, that don't mean I sit down at one time and had all those snacks. That means... From when I got up until I had my breakfast, that was the snack I had. And y'all know when I get up. So breakfast, all I had was three fried eggs. That's that's all I felt like. Lunch was, um, I went somewhere. Where did I go? I had somewhere to go Saturday. Oh, to the, <laughs> the thrift store. Well, David had his sister's car up here putting water pup on it. So he had it tore down. What he did was he went and dropped his pickup off at her house and drove her car up here. And he already had it tore down. He called me talking about, where you at? I say, I'm in the Salvation Army. Where you at? <laughs> he said, well, he needed the car to get some parts. I said, well, and I'm up in Salisbury, so I'm a good half hour away. I said, well, let me finish making the rounds here. I mean, I'm there. It ain't going to hurt him to wait another 15 minutes on top of that. And um, so we were coming down the road. Uh, we, I was coming down the road almost home. And he calls, well, I can't get to park till 5 o'clock. So go ahead and go to the DT. Because I was going to hit this DT that day. Because where I was at the Salvation Army was just right on the way to the DT. I said, well, too late now. Practically home. I said, hmm, are you hungry? I said, Whataburger sounds good. And you know when I go to Whataburger, they don't have a thing there diet-wise of any sort. N name a diet, they don't have <laughs> water. <laughs> and when I go, I get that foot long all the way every single time without fail. There's never not a time that I don't get that. I'm like, I, th I, I told him, he said, well, you know what I like if you go? I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm coming down the road. I'm still on the interstate, so I've got time to think before I actually get there. And I'm like, you know what? I've got to stay on plan. I've got to stay on plan. So I was thinking, well, what can I take us to eat? Because, you know, I haven't prepped yet. Don't have anything. I've got to figure out something for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday, and Saturday, and Sunday is such a crapshoot for me because I, I plan and I prep for Monday through Thursday and then those three days 
I'm just like, what? Then it hit me, cookout. I'll have to pick that up in a minute. Cookout, if y'all don't have cookout, it's just a, a drive through burger joint, but they got all kind of stuff. So what I opted for, they have a tray where you can get one sandwich or like two hot dogs, you know, that type of thing. Then you get two sides and a drink. So what I did was I got a chicken sandwich with two bacon wraps, which is just a tortilla with bacon and lettuce and cheese and ranch dressing. I got double that because you can double your sides and then like a half and half tea. I come home, ripped up a little more lettuce, took my bun, threw it away, took my wraps and threw it away, put my chicken and my bacon and my vegetables and pickles, all that stuff on my lettuce and had me some dressing, made me a big old salad. So I was able to eat my fast food, but still stay on plan. So I was really happy with that decision. So that was lunch and that's where we were. So hold on, let me pick up my book. So to track it, I just went through and put in all the ingredients separately and you know get something in there and then for supper y'all saw that because i cooked i filmed the whole thing we had the artichoke dip and i had it with pork rinds and then the pizza which i was so mad that thing stuck you know it is like when you have i have taken mine i i remember one time i took RJ. he was sick that little that little boy was sick as a dog I get him to the doctor and he's just, ha, 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 just bouncing off the wall. I was like, nothing is wrong. I'm like, little dude, you're making a liar out of me. <laughs> That's what that stupid pizza did. I have never had it stick like that, ever. And then I come in front of y'all, oh, look at this cool pizza. And then it st <laughs> sticks like it did. Anyway, and then Dutch baby. That thing is so good. I'm not going to lie to y'all. David wants uh, coconut. He's like, oh, that'd be good with coconut. So that's the next one I'm going to make. I'm going to make. I have coconut extract and I have unsweetened coconut. And that is what I'm going to make. So it would be like a coconut custard. It is like a light. I said before I made it. It's like a custard, but not. But when it sets up and you look at it, it does look like a custard. It's just lighter. It's not as thick. Um, and rich as a custard is, obviously. But it is still very, very good. Before the sun came up, I had eaten my half. <laughs> it was like two carbs a slice. So half of that pie was six carbs. I didn't care. I don't even know how many calories. Didn't care. It was one of those things. It's just like if that had been a regular pie, I would have done the same thing had it been cookies. The sweet things get me. And see, that wasn't even real sugar. That was fake sugar. But I can eat an egg custard pie to myself. Yes, I can. So they might be dangerous, but I'm still making a coconut. <laughs> so that's what we have for supper. And then snack after I, we sit over there and went to sleep, because that's what we do. We eat, we sit over there with the intentions of watching TV, and we go to sleep, and we wake up, and we're hungry and then we go back to sleep so i woke up sometime in the middle of the night starving to death so i finished off my pizza because i ate two pieces for supper and left two pieces so i finished off those two pieces of pizza and that uh dutch baby so that's what i had um saturday so i don't think that was a bad day now yesterday i don't have a total for you because what i had for supper i don't know how to um track it so i just didn't it's not no big deal i know what i ate and whether i have it down in a tracker with a point in a, a carb count on this piece of paper I ain't gonna change it so i ain't worried about it <laughs> breakfast i had sausage and eggs i took off some of that sausage what i was gonna make with my breakfast i'm gonna tell you about that breakfast tomorrow Woo, let me tell you about tomorrow then snack i had a cheese stick lunch i had some of the broccoli and bacon salad that i made because like i said i don't have anything planned and prepared for the weekend I, I don't know if i've got to start doing i'm too tired in the middle of the week to do a mini prep i i've cooked every day which don't make much difference come sunday i've still cooked every day but i'm just i'm tired um but i've got to come up with some kind of plan for friday saturday and sunday I just do. And then that's what I have for lunch. And then a, a, a cheese stick. 
and supper time came. I was in here. I was piddling around with stuff, but I was so tired. If you noticed, I put out two videos back to back, and that was two days of cooking three meal we've called meals like three dishes so for two days i made six dishes and filmed them and edited them and the whole nine yards and i was just tired i'm like honey i said i just am too tired to cook he said that's okay we'll do whatever you want i said well you know what i really would like a fish plate ever since we made that flounder the other day I have had the taste for some fish, and our fish camp that's here in town is called Mayflower, and they make the best salt and pepper catfish strips. Oh my gosh. So, instead of getting that and the french fries and the baked potato and the hush puppies, I just got, now I didn't get broiled, I'm not going to no fish camp getting broiled fish, that ain't happening. I don't go often enough that I'm going to change it up. That's where I stand at this moment in time. Um, I just ate my belly brown. My lunch was good too. I'll tell you tomorrow. So I had the catfish strips. And for my side, I got okra. Which was fried okra. It was bread and it was deep fried. So it was greasy. Which was so good. <laughs> David said, I told him, I said, Oh, this uh, okra is greasy. He said, Better not stuff in the air fryer, ain't it? And I said, <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> anyway, but I gave him my, he calls them dog turds. His daddy, <laughs> hush puppies. His daddy always called them dog turds. It depends on where you go, what um, fish camp you go to. They make them different. They make them in like big round balls. They make them in little, what the ones he calls dog turds, a little like, well, it looks like a dog turd. This place makes them, they look like onion rings. That's how theirs look. So I gave him those. They always give you three. I gave him those. I didn't eat those. So I had my okra, which had whatever bread they had on it, which we, we were talking about. I said, you think it would have been less carbs if I was just going to hang out the baked potato? He said, no, no, no. He said, no way that that okra would have more than a potato would have. And then my fish. So I had plenty of carbs. I just don't know how to count them. So I'm just not, but, and then I had white slaw. They do, I don't know if y'all do white and red slaw. That's how they, they have the, the white slaw, which is the mayonnaise slaw, and the red slaw, which is the tomato vinegar slaw. So instead of asking you and going through the whole rigmarole, it's just red or white. So <laughs> I had white. Anyway, so that's what I had. I didn't have any more snacks after that. I was so full. I didn't have room for nothing. I'm going to tell you what, it was so doggone good. Anyway, now let me tell you about this uh, thing back here that I changed. If you can dream it, you can do it. Well, no. <laughs> I hate to be, <laughs> I hate to be Debbie Downer, negative Nelly, but. No, I take issue with that one. You cannot do anything you dream. It's not feasibly possible. I am a realist. Example, Shaquille O'Neal could have grown up his whole entire life dreaming to be a horse jockey. There's no way under the shining sun that big old man is going to be a horse jockey. So dreaming didn't do him a lick of good because he couldn't do it. I might dream to be a ballerina. Right here and now, I want to be a ballerina. It's not going to happen. I'm too old. I'm too big. My body does not work. I'm not going to be a ballerina. So it doesn't matter what I dream. It's not going to happen. <laughs> so I hate to sound uh, all, you know, negative about it but i just i just i disagree with that one now there are things that we can dream and achieve like i can dream about the day that i have lost weight and i can get around and i can move i'm thinner i'm you know m more agile than i am something in my dollar tree bag just popped i don't know what that was i really don't 
And I believe I can do that. That is something that is attainable. So I think this has to be qualified. Anything that is physically, um, feasibly attainable in who you are, where you are, in your condition, in your financial situation, where you live, the whole nine yards, then that, you can do that. So, like, let's just say I dreamed, I dream of being a top-notch chef. I dream of it. I dream of, I won't say cooking on TV. That's far-fetched. Who, of course, who knows? I could go to school. I could learn. I could teach myself. It, even on the um, YouTube, I could learn how to cook, be a good chef, and I can maybe make it on Master Chef. You just don't know. That is something that is, if I wanted to work for it, I could achieve it. That is something that is within my realm of possibilities. But I just don't think we do ourselves a service if we sit around and dream of XYZ when we have no way under the sun of accomplishing it. I think sometimes maybe that makes us feel bad. Um, like, I, I don't want to sit around and dream of being a movie star and then set myself up for depression when it don't happen. Because it's not going to happen. <laughs> this is as much movie star as you get right here in my little corner of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how that that reference came out, but it, yeah, now, I'm not gonna sit here and torture myself because I'm not a movie star, cause it's not gonna happen. That was not in my cards, and it's not gonna be in my cards. I'm not gonna just think, oh, I want to be the big, rich, famous movie star, and that's something that's ever gonna happen. So I think we need to put our efforts and energies towards something we can do, something we can accomplish, something that is, if you want to go back to school, if you can um, find a way to pay for it or get financial aid or do it online, that's something I think that might be attainable for you. That's something that would be, you know, at your disposal. Whereas going to climb Mount Everest just might not be. So don't sit around and torture yourself because you're not able to go climb Mount Everest. Am I even making any sense? I just, I just think I'm not. <laughs> My point is, I just take issue with that because I don't think if you can dream it, you can be it. I don't. That made me think of Rocky Horror Picture Show. When they're singing and he's in that thing, don't dream it, be it. <laughs> so, nope. Anyway, well, that's all I have for you today. <sighs> Come back for, um, I don't know, Dollar Tree Hall? Y'all want to see Dollar Tree Hall? Y'all want to see this mess? You want to see too? Because I know if me and RJ get together, it's going to be on. I just know it is. Unless everything they have up there is what I've already seen and then there's nothing new. Which is doubtful because they always have different stuff than we have over here. So, anyway. Now that I have put y'all all down in the dumps because you can't be a horse jockey and a movie star. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> so, I would, just, I would just see you next time I see you. How about that?